The city of Houston's animal shelter is getting back to normal after a distemper outbreak, and Bark is still closed for services like spay and neuter, but adoptions are open for pups who have low risk of breathing issues. Now, they had to get creative to separate and space everyone out for housing amid the outbreak, which created new kennel areas and thus a need for some more supplies. If you have any uh, blankets, towels that you have to spare, you can drop them off to donate, or if you visit the shelter's an Amazon wish list, they they always have a list of things they need that you can order and have directly shipped right to them. That link is always on their Facebook page. And a Houstonian is the country's latest case of creative marketing for a dog who was rescued only to prove to be quite a handful. Hank was in the middle of traffic in kind of an industrial area of Houston. He was just dirty, covered in fleas, malnourished, but as soon as we pulled over, he leaped into my car, just expecting a brand new adventure. And adventure it has been. After fostering Hank for a while now, Christine Clauder has caught eyes nationwide for her website, giving Hank a rather crass review, an expletive-filled rant about Hank the Hellion. You're gonna break that glass, son says adopting him out is like trying to find a Tickle Me Elmo back in the 90s, but written with love in hopes that it will attract the right match. Definitely the sense of humor that they're going to need. He's not a dog that's meant for the faint of heart. We've gotten hundreds of calls and uh, over 50 applications for him so far. Hank lucked out when he met Christine because she is both an active animal rescue volunteer and a digital marketing expert. I am currently unemployed due to a layoff and um, have a lot of time on my hands and figure why not market him the best way I know how. Were you surprised by sort of the national attention that you got? Yes. I've actually had some emails asking me um, to help for help writing their animals' bios because they they say they have Hank's twin. Now you're gonna pee in there. You better not drink in there. Asked if they could just steal the whole website and just post it on their own pages for their own dogs. So Hank is not alone. <laughs> Hank is definitely not alone. Those of us who rest rescue and foster, we have we have all met a Hank in our lives. And at Friends for Life, the Houston Animal Rescue helping Hank find a home, they specialize in clients just like Hank. We do take in a lot of the less desirable animals or the, the long shots, the ones that really need their, those second chances. And they're always looking for brave fosters like Christine. We provide everything for you. We provide all the medical care. We have behaviorists on staff. Because even if your foster pet is not a match for you. Like Christine, your sense of humor about your differences might be what helps the right person come along. Every dog has their perfect forever home and it's just a matter of finding that perfect match for them.